Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today we have, looks like, maybe about six or seven packages to go through and check out these eBay, Instagram, Facebook mystery products. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into this. I'm going to take this first one out and we'll see what we can find here. Also, before I start on this one, I'd like to remind you we're giving away the Julio Rodriguez Rookie Auto at the end of this month to channel members. If you'd like to support the channel... There's a little join button. There's also a link in the description if you would like to check it out. We're giving that away to whoever gets the first comment in this video and any comment throughout the entire month. We'll put you all in a hat and choose one of you at the end of the month. All right, so this is our very first mystery box product. It is from Joel. Joel K. Let's take a look. It is a box. No markings on it. It says open first and... The 543 Collectibles Wander Franco Chase Pack number seven. Let's take a look at this. This is probably the note or the sell sheet information. All right, inside there's a Barry Bonds 87 tops and also a classic Barry Bonds 1986 classic. Awesome cards right there for the PC. Thank you very much, Joel, for sending those over. Really appreciate that. Every now and then people will send a little, I, I guess, call it a tip, I guess, for reviewing their products. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Anyway, the note here says, Hey, Eric, Joe here from 543 Collectibles. I have two more eBay products for you to review. The first one, the white box, is the Retro Kaboom box. It has 10 packs from the 80s plus two to three vintage singles. And I don't mean 80s and 90s and vintage. This is vintage cards from the 50s through the 70s. The vintage cards are at the bottom of the box, and the price is 30 bucks. If you'd like to grab one of those, the code to type in on the ebay search is one two five five oh five six zero seven eight four five the second one the bubble mailer is the psa 10 mystery slab chase with 12 wander franco chase cards here's all the chase cards right there whole bunch of 2019 and 2020 wander francos those are 40 dollars a piece and the code is one two five five zero nine nine seven nine nine six nine so since this listing will be different than my previous slab listings, I have slabs numbered 1 to 100. And the listing will feature a drop-down menu. And you can choose the numbered slab that you want. This will give the buyer a little bit of control. I chose to give you slab 7 since that was the jersey number of Barry Bonds in 1987. All right. So let right. I guess we'll start off with this one. The Wander Franco Chase. And inside we have a Luis Robert PSA 10 2020 Tops Chrome as our hit so a nice one right there again the price on these is 40 dollars a piece you're not always going to hit a wander franca but you might find some other nice cards like this one i i love luis robert i know he's had a bit of a disappointing season in the fact that he hasn't uh, stayed healthy the whole year but when he was healthy he was playing good ball hitting around 300 all year long now let's check out this big white kaboom box from the 80s and 90s let's see what we've got in here there's some older packs you can see it says retro kaboom box and here's our packs. Let's see what we've got. And the vintage cards are at the bottom. We will, I guess we'll just show them to you. And eh, maybe not. We could see Joe Tipton, 1952 tops. We'll save those for the end here. All right, so the Kaboom box. Let's take a look at the packs you get here. We've got 88 Fleer, 88 Leaf, Baseball Stars, 89 Bowman, and 89 Donruss. Some nice packs right there. We're going to open some of these. Uh, some of these, I, I think I'll eh, you probably want to see them all open, don't you? I was going to say some of them I'll just leave for the kiddos. Kiddos love opening packs. And uh, I'll tell you what, this year more than ever, baseball cards as prices in my classroom have been flying off the, uh, the desk, so to speak. 89 tops, 88 score, magic motion, sport flicks. We've got an 81 pack. Man, this does not look good. That gum is, is stuck in there. An 86. I think I'm going to keep some of these for some of the kids at school put those over here and put that in my little prize box that i have on my desk for when they win our review games and let's take a look at some of this i'm scared to open this 81 don russ pack i've had terrible luck with 81 don oh yikes i don't even want to touch it guys that is nasty there is mold all over the gum so i know some of you are probably wincing and looking away i i don't want to touch the cards they're covered in mold and it goes the whole way through the pack so ugh, i wasn't feeling uh wasn't feeling all that great to begin with here and now i am really a little bit all right we are back we had some technical difficulties there i guess that 81 donruss gum really really uh 
was just so, so disgusting the camera stopped working. I, I think I ran out of memory, but I never saw a notification on my screen. We didn't get anything in the rest of the packs, by the way. Um, the cards at the bottom of the box, there was um, really nothing. Uh, no good hits in any of the packs that I opened up. There was a Wade Boggs, Steve Carlton, but there was a nice Lou Brock at the bottom of that box. So I stopped. I, I deleted about 121 videos that were taking up space, a bunch of recent YouTube videos that I've been posting over the past month or two. And now we should be clear. But anyway, we're on to this Out of This World Baseball Mystery Pack. I looked up and I saw 000 at the top of my screen. I was like, what is going on? And I played it back and I saw that you got to see that disgusting pack. But now we are back. All right, so lots of rookies. It says, howdy, my good man, Mr. Jazz. First off, I'd like to say you rock. Second, we all appreciate what you do for the hobby and the people who send you these mystery packs that you graciously showcase on your channel. Thank you. It says, I have sent you an Out of This World Baseball Mystery, lots of rookies edition, my third series of these. This pack will have 40 rookies in them, 30 in penny sleeves and 10 in top loaders. Also, as in my previous packs, there will be extras. Love the extras. I'm making 45 of these packs for the series. Saying that, I have 15 space packs randomly inserted. So that's a one in three chance to receive a space pack. So what's a space pack? It's, uh, I don't know. It says they're dubbed Mercury, Venus, all the different planets. And we've got a sample space pack, saving the real ones for the gracious customers. So I guess you want to get an out-of-this-world space pack. All of them will have two autos, a relic, and a chance at hit. And one of the graded cards, Bo Bichette rookies, Luis Robert rookies, Trent Grisham's, Randy Rose, Rainer, Fernando Tatis, graded 8 through 10. These packs are $50 a piece on old eBay there, 1447-1301-0665. We'll bring them up. It says, seriously, again, we the people love you. So thank you very much for the kind words there. I really appreciate that. Um... I believe that I that package was from Dan. I already opened it, and I thought I was filling it, but Dan, thank you very much for the kind words. Let's take a look at this space sample pack and see what we've got in here. All right, inside we've got a nicely, tightly wrapped bubble mailer filled with a bunch of cards. We've got 30 penny sleeve cards. We'll start there. Thank you, pack with O'Neill Cruz. Very nice. Love that one. I collect O'Neill Cruz rookie cards. And we've got rookies in here. Tristan McKenzie, Corbin Burns rookie from 2019. There's Alec Bohm, Bowman Platinum. Bo Bichette, nice one right there. That's his turkey red chrome. McClanahan, Nico Horner, Jeff McNeil. So these are some nice names, some uh, established players. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. There's Nick Madrigal. Zach Gallon's having such a good season. Shane Boz, rookie card. Juan Yepes, that is a green parallel. Chas McCormick, Josh Lowe. There's Seth Beer. Spencer Strider, purple. Roanzi Contreras, I like that one. Kyle Tucker, a great rookie card there. Lusardo, purple. And got a Dustin May there as well. So let's check out the thank you pack. This one wouldn't likely be in yours, but... It's O'Neill Cruz, your Don Alvarez, a nice Showtime Shohei Otani rookie card. Very nice from Don Ross. Bobby Witt Jr. Mojo. We got a Henry Davis, CJ Abrams out of 149, and O'Neill Cruz rookie as well. So, Dan, I appreciate that. I put these up in my thank you pack little PC collection. Really cool stuff there. You guys know I love the rookie cards. All right, next we got 10 top loaded cards coming up next. Again, if you'd like to grab one of these, they're $50 a piece. Austin Riley, rookie right there. Luis Robert, Kevin Biggio, Vladdy Jr., Andrew Vaughn. Next, we've got Randy Rosarena. There's Cedric Mullins, rookie card. Corbin Burns, rookie yet again. Ryan Braun, the pitcher. And Chris Bryant, Gold Stars, rookie card there. So we've got an extra stack, more extras, and the hits. Save the hits for last. Let's take a look at all these extras first. There's... Luis Robert Gold card, a bunch of penny sleeve cards in here, some nice prospect. <laughs> I got to think that Pirates was slipped in there for me, that Pirate sticker. Leo Piguero, there's Bobby Witt Jr., Spencer Torkelson, Brett Beatty, Jeremy Pena first, Bowman card. That's an awesome one. There's Tatis, Manufactured Patch, Adolis Garcia. We've got O'Neill Cruz, rated rookie, the Topps history, Frank Thomas name on front and then we've got an advanced stat card coming up here jesse winker alejandro kirk without the name rookie card key brian hayes and jordan alvarez some nice ones in there and we're not done yet there's even more extras so 45 packs 15 are the space so you have a one in three of getting a pack loaded with all of this stuff that we're seeing here so we've got carlos correa that's gonna be numbered out of 150 and we've got fernando tatis 
Grant Levine, that's a team color match, purple. Jordan Alvarez, a couple of his cards. Sam Huff, first chrome. And Blaze Jordan, sky blue. Nice one right there. So on to the hits in the space pack. What do you think we got going on here? I think he said, what, two autos and a relic? Here's the relic. Likely going to be the Miles Straw. Bobby Dalbeck, good one right there out of 99. And Seth Beer out of 49. Two good young players. And Miles Straw is the relic. So some nice cards right there. Again, check them out on eBay. I told you the number already, but if you want to pause it and type it in once again, there's the eBay code right there. Type that into the search bar, and it'll bring it right on up. All right, moving on next to the next pack. This one is from Jim. Thank you very much, Jim, for sending this over for our viewing pleasure. Let's see what we've got in here. There's the note. There's some packs. I think we got it all out. So let's check out Jim's submission to Mystery Box Monday. This will probably tell us the price and what to expect in this product. It says, hey, Jabs, I hope you've been well. Lately, I've uh, learned that keeping up with collecting cards will not benefit me and my family in the long run. Thanks to you, my last mystery pack sold out in six hours after appearing on the channel. About 75% of my collection will be in these new mystery packs that he has gone on eBay, including the example one that he sent in today. The Jimbo Farewell Mystery Pack will include 35 rookies, 13 special cards, 8 firsts, 1 auto, 1 relic, 1 super rare, and a PSA 9 or 10 slab. The PSA 9 and 10 slabs are there. I don't think we got a PSA 9 or 10 slab in here in one numbered card. It says, to be transparent, there's 5 packs without an auto, but a numbered card. If a pack does not include an auto, there'll be 5 additional rookies and free shipping. Another 2 packs will have neither an auto or a numbered card. If you're one of those, you'll get an additional 5 rookies and 5 special cards. 50 total packs, similar to the one we're going to open there. 28 bucks plus shipping. The eBay code is 175 it says, as an additional offer for those watching the Jabs Family channel, you will receive 15 card extra yeah, as a thank you for buying the pack and watching Jabs channel. All you have to do is message your top three teams, and uh, he's going to take care of you, which is pretty awesome. So some 15 extra cards if you grab it and say that you watched it on Jabs Family. So in theory, someone can receive 70 to 75 cards plus 20 for 28 bucks. So let's go check it out for Jimbo. All right, so we got rookies. We've got can't read what that says i think it says 13 special pack um 81st prospect i think that has the hit so let's just get into the rookies and see what we've got we've got alex kirloff leading things off there's davy garcia these are gonna be all the rookies and wander franco makes an appearance in there jonathan indy as well 1986 tops dylan carlson daz cameron We've got Alejandro Kirk, rookie card. There's Alec Manoa, rookie card from Gallery. Adrian Morihone, Jake Cronenworth. We've got a Devin Williams, rookie right there. Chas McCormick, and a printed proof of Yermin Mercedes is the last one. Let's check out this special pack. Probably some numbered cards or maybe just some special parallels if I can ever get it opened up for whatever reason. This is just not working out for me so that's why for mystery box monday always got to have a pair of scissors little blue tip scissors right there my daughter was olivia was doing her kiwi co used those scissors to make some homemade soap and she was pretty pumped about that but anyway let's see what we've got in the parallel pack got a nice ronald acuna jr prism there's Marion Rivera, no name of DJ LeMayhew, Masters of the Craft insert. So this is mostly going to be non-numbered insert cards. There's a Reggie Jackson Chrome, Cedric Mullins, Raphael Devers, Yellow, Syndergaard Orange. We've got Pete Alonso and then Key Brian Hayes, Hollow Blue is the last one. So let's check out this 18 rookie card pack. Again, it's 35 total rookies. So we had 17 in the first pack, 18 in this pack, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Instead of struggling with the pack and potentially dinging the corners, trying to get it open, we'll just cut that. Kyle Wright, rookie card. Good one right there. Tyler Magill, rookie. Mojo, Joey Bart, Kelnick. Jordan Alvarez from Big League. Garrett Crochet. There's Kyle Isbell. Nice Joe Adele right there. Luke Williams. Geraldo Perdomo, Mojo. Another Wander Franco. It's a nice one. Kyle Schwarber, rookie card. We'll take that one. Randy Johnson, not a rookie. Second year card of Johnson, and we've got Justin Dunn, rookie, at the back side of that end pack. Let's check this next one out. And, uh, man, I just cannot seem to beat the uh, the painter's tape. I think I got it there. This is Brett Beatty, Shailene Polanco. This is going to have the hits in it. Henry Mendez out of 399. The autograph is Braxton Garrett from 2021 Select. Dominguez, Artiaga, and Spencer Torkelson. So if you'd like to grab one of those, 28 bucks for all that. 
Check it out on eBay if you're interested. And say you saw it on Jabs Family, you'll get some free cards of whatever your favorite team is. All right, so next, let's grab the next pack up. This one is from Caleb McPherson. Caleb McPherson with our next pack on this Mystery Box Monday. Let's see what we've got from Caleb here. We got the note, and it says... It says, thank you for making baseball cards every day. I really enjoy watching them. You inspired me to start my own eBay, cmac.cards, over a year ago, selling mainly baseball cards. As a high schooler, I don't have a ton of extra money for cards. I want to focus on cards of my favorite player, Logan Gilbert, J-Rod, and Cal Raleigh. So I've decided to make some mystery packs. They call them C-Max packs. They're $14.49 on eBay. I've tried my hardest to give more than the buy-in price, so a positive ROI return on investment after eBay and shipping. I'm only getting like $7, $8 back per pack. Again, I tried to make every pack with more value than what you pay in. The breakdown of the 18 packs remaining, 10 cards, one auto or relic. 75% um, will have an autograph. One numbered card, the rest are stars and rookies. One person will receive an encased Spencer Watkins, this pristine orange out of 25 at random. And the eBay number, if you want to try these out, is 384 968 Nine two three five three zero. So let's check it out. Thank you very much for sending this in, Caleb. And I know the feeling. I was in high school once myself, and I I never had much money either. In fact, I got out of cards when I was probably in eleventh uh, grade because I started saving all of my money for a car. Once I turned sixteen, I wanted a car. So instead of spending every dollar I had on cards, I started putting it in a little safe, and I saved up enough after about a year to buy my first car. There's Logan Webb. Nice rookie card right there. The hit is going to be a Max Scherzer. It is going to be a relic of Max Scherzer, future Hall of Famer. Nice Bo Jackson highlights card and Carter Keyboom yellow there as well. Again, not too bad. 1449. He's not telling the truth. I mean, he's telling the truth there about uh, eBay taking a large portion of that. If that's free shipping, he's going to spend probably four to five dollars shipping that and cost of the bubble mail and all that postage takes him down to 10 eBay is going to take about 10 to 13%. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Jaden. Or um, Caleb, sorry. Getting all confused here. Jaden is up next, Jaden Franco. So let's check out Jaden's pack. He's got a thank you pack in there of Wander Franco, handwritten note. It's called Jaden's Fat Stack Packs. We saw this recently, I think. Sounds very familiar. It says, these are my second mystery packs I've made. I featured the $6 Jaden's Fat Stack Packs and ended up selling them out. These new mystery packs I've made are $12 plus three shippings, a $15 mystery pack. Each pack has 10 inserts, three numbered, and two autographs. So that's, you know, that's less than a blaster box and you're guaranteed two autographs. That kind of reminds me of a state classy pack. Just a little bit more. I mean, you got to, of course, pay the shipping. So it makes sense. Uh, when it all comes down to it, it's about pretty much the same price as the state classy. Two autos. It says the same odds will come with every pack. One and four will have an O'Neill Cruiser Wander Franco in it. These are not juiced. These are how the mystery packs are all made up. No chasers in this product. Just something to rip and get your money back. The number cards and the autographs will be flipped upside down. Hopefully you guys like, uh, like these ones and enjoy them. The code on eBay. Type this number in. 314-152-474-021. That should bring it up. We'll start off with the thank you pack. Jaden, thank you very much for sending these over. A little tip for me, I guess. Wander Franco, we've got Gavin Lux rookie, a Joe Morgan relic. That is an awesome card right there, and a Beau Bichette. Very cool stuff. Thanks, man. Love the uh, Hall of Famer relics like that, and uh, love great rookies as well. So you did a nice job picking those out. I appreciate that. And now let's check out the Jaden's Fat Stack Pack. 15 bucks, two autographs. We've got Joe Adele on the top. We've got a flipped upside down card here. It's going to be Mike Cameron. He had a great career. It's not the auto, but it's numbered out of... 1957 and Garrett Cole. We've got Keston Hira. And autograph number one is Alberto Arias from the 52 top set, which was released back in 2007. We've got Kevin Biggio Holiday. And there's Slade Heathcott and Zach Granke. That's going to be a parallel numbered out of 99. Second autograph incoming, it's Jake Floth. I haven't heard of him ever. Jake Floth or Flothy. That's a 2011. He only had a cup of coffee, I think, in the big leagues. Draft ticket. He may have never even made the big leagues. Maybe that's why we don't recognize him. Kevin Crone. Nice one right there. Rookie of Kevin Crone and Tyler Naquin is the last one there. So we are down to just a few packs left. This next one comes, by the way, thank you, Jaden, from T. Sour. T. Sour. Thank you very much for sending these our way. Let's check out what T. has in store for us. 
on this episode of Mystery Box Monday. Also, the J. Claus Mystery Packs. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to run those. I would like to do them on Monday, but a little bit of a behind the scenes here. My kids were sick all weekend with the virus. They were under the weather, and uh, they weren't doing so well. And I'm actually filming this on Sunday because I'm starting to feel a little tinge under the weather myself. I don't know if my voice shows it or not, but I'm trying to get this video filmed ahead of time. So if tomorrow I wake up and I'm just completely wiped out, then at least it's done and I don't have to come here and be like, hey guys, welcome back to another, you know, with a terrible raspy voice and all that stuff. So I would like to do the J. Claus packs tomorrow, but if I'm under the weather, then we'll just, uh, we'll do it when it, uh, when I bounce back. My kids were down for about two days apiece with it. Uh, they had fevers of 102. Went, took them to the doctor. Doctor said it's just a virus. It's got to run its course. You can give them some over-the-counter stuff like, you know, kids Tylenol and ibuprofen. That's what we were doing. Taking, uh, just taking it day by day. And uh, they're doing better. So I think, uh, I think I'm, I mean, I think I might come down with it. But hopefully I can bounce right back. I'll try to get some sleep tonight. It says, Eric, I was a junk wax collector in the 80s and 90s during my childhood and jumped head first back into the hobby from 04 to 08. I got out of the hobby until recently. I was injured at work and laid up at home. I've been passing the time watching YouTube and I discovered your channel and my love for collecting cards again. With the passion I brought, what I could get my hands on, I bought what I could get my hands on until the wife put a stop to it. She said, I had to get rid of some of the older cards before I could spend any more. Normally I would tell her, I'm the king of the castle. So don't give me no hassle. <laughs> but at 44 years old, I think I finally understand the meaning of happy wife, happy life. I started listing singles on eBay, but that became overwhelming. So I called together these 50 mystery packs called Honeydew Baseball Mystery Packs. Each one is uh, containing various cards from various manufacturers from 04 to 08. And a thank you package for you filled with cards that I enjoyed looking at throughout the years. The mystery packs contain six cards with a guarantee of one auto, one relic, and one serial number card. The other three cards will be a combination of other serial number cards, relic cards, or even another auto of a star player from that era. Some of the auto cards may contain dual autos, and some of the relics may contain up to four relics, quad relics. The eBay item number is 403-891-876-230, and it's only $10 a pack plus shipping. So I don't know, probably about 15 bucks. So if these do well, I'll make up some more. But if not, I'll probably donate them to my LCS and give them away to kids. It is a pain if you have a collection that you want to move on from, if you want to just uh you know maybe turn your focus to something else or raise capital ebay is definitely a pain because it takes so much time to list the cards that sometimes they'll sit there for months and months sometimes not even sell so i understand your um thinking here to make mystery packs out of them tom if you ever have that problem again if anyone has a problem again if you want to i could auction the cards off i'll take the good ones auction off the good stuff because i want people to you know enjoy the auction and have cards on the screen that people want to bid on for sure. And the, I would just suggest the commons, you just go ahead and do, donate those to some kids. Maybe donate them to a little league program, a hospital, something like that. Somewhere where you know they'll be enjoyed. But uh, I always feel sad when I hear people just say that they just took all their cards and threw them in the trash. All the commons at least. All right, so let's check it out. In here, this is a $10 pack. We've got a big old jumbo patch of Greg Maddox from 05. That's an awesome card right there. Denard Spann autograph from Bowman Signs of the Future and Curtis Granderson, the Grandy Man. So some cool cards there from 04 to 08. Headlined by Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. Really cool stuff right there. Some nice hits. All those players had success in the big leagues. Curtis Granderson, a lot of success. Denard Spann, a lot of success as well. Bat lead off. Jeremy Burnett's Heritage, numbered out of 1957. Yvonne Rodriguez, and we've got a quad relic of Bobby Abreu. That's pretty cool. I, you know what? I, I like it. Um, I was expecting there to be a bunch of singles in here from 04 to 08, but that wasn't the case. It was just the hits. Awesome stuff. Also, a thank you pack. Let's see what we've got in here in this thank you pack. So <laughs> I see the Barry Bonds credit card from 95 Studio. That's a cool one. I used to really like those. Thanks very much for sending these over. Let's get all the painter's tape off and take a look-see here. There's Griffey. Another Griffey, Eddie Murray, 82. The Nolan Ryan, 80 tops card. I love that card. That's one of my favorite cards from the 80s. And Derek Jeter is on the back. There's a Jim Tomey rookie card. That is the Jeter error card with George Bush and Mickey Mantle on the dugout. An awesome card. Everyone that sees this card, if you don't have it, you're going to want it once you see it. Great card right there. One of my favorites. The editor of the uh, card, whoever was in charge of putting the photo on there, got fired for that little stunt. Cal Ripken Jr., Dante Bichette, rookie from 89, upper deck, Nolan Ryan, and Mickey Mantle. Nice one right there. A nice 2006 Mickey Mantle tops card. 
card number seven of the set, I think. Yep. Back then, Mickey Mantle when Tops had the rights was always card number seven in each and every set. This next one's for the kiddos. I think I know what this is. It's some mascot cards from Tops Heritage. From the Reds mascot, Gapper. So some cool stuff. Did I say Heritage? I meant opening day. Cool stuff right here. So I'll pass these on to the kiddos. Thank you very much, Mary, for sending that over. I will put those in their stack. I have a little stack for them from, I think, last week of a few packs I want them to open up. Mary, they'll be super pumped to see that. It'll even mean more to them once we eventually get to a Reds game out in Cincinnati. Last but not least, we have Jason Simon. I know what this is as well. He sent me a gift. And the gift is a gift that may keep on giving here if I choose correctly. He sent me a big stack of the Pick the Game Home Run Challenge cards. I got to spend probably... You know, maybe if I do come down with the nasty virus here and laid up in bed all day tomorrow and Tuesday or whatever, I can just get on my laptop and start picking the games and see if I can get uh, win some free cards here. So, Jason, thank you very, very much for sending these over. Awesome stuff. I, uh, I'll have fun looking at matchups over the next week and trying to pick those out. And there you have it, folks. That's Mystery Box Monday. I hope everyone has had a very pleasant Monday. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you come back tomorrow. I've got a couple different boxes. I've got a Grand Slam Card Club box from September to still open up. I've got a Generations box, a brand new product to open up um, from the folks at the Big Fly box. So maybe one of those tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your Monday and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.